All right, good afternoon. Here you are again with us on Tidbits with Rose de la Cruz, Managing Editor of Opinion Paper, and yours truly, Ms. V, Vivian Mangalinda, Columnist of Opinion Paper. You're with us here on Tidbits on Candid Conversations on channel Show and Tell with Ms. V. Good afternoon, Rose. Hello. I uh, hope you find our topic today interesting. I, my goodness gracious, this is something that many people can connect to. What's your take on this, Rose, on you don't know what you don't know? Well, uh, the way I understand it is what ka magpanggap. Okay. What happens is once upon a time, I loved eating fatty foods. I didn't know that when one eats fatty foods, one must eat more vegetables. For certain reasons that the vegetables are going to sweep all of those fats from my system. Back to you don't know what you don't know. I was like, no, I'll just eat what I want to eat. Well, eventually I had a gallbladder challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. From then on, I, I realized, see, at that point in time where I understood on days where I ate lots of veggies, I seemed to be better. On days that I didn't eat veggies when I ate the fats, I was in pain. I quickly understood the phrase, you don't know what you don't know, because I didn't know <laughs> before the pain. But once I experienced the pain, I already knew that I should eat green leafy vegetables when I'm eating fatty foods. Did I quickly show you my take on that phrase and how I got to understand it? Hello? Yep, Rose, are you with me? Okay, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, uh, basically, we must not uh, discard what other people are telling us mm -hmm. because they they may know what you don't know exactly very well said but you know what happens most people argue when we say something they're like hindi ah no they immediately say no have we oh. met people like that yeah okay. the know it all Oh, yeah, yeah, my favorite topic, they know it all. I'm allergic to those people. Give me an example. So that's my classic example about food and how it affected me. Give me one, just one example of something you didn't know, but later on quickly got it when you experienced it. I Actually, it's commonplace that I encounter people like that and I am as myself like that sometimes. In what I'm case? Guilty. Give me one. Mine was the uh, gulay and fatty foods. Give me one. Let's just amuse ourselves. Okay. Uh, in daily household stuff, uh, sometimes my, my son, my younger son would tell me, Ma, wag mong, gami, wag mong gawain yan kasi masisira yan. And still, I would say, Sino nagsabi sa iyo? Yon. <laughs> and then it and then as as he told me, it goes it's destroyed. Sabi niya, sinabi ko na. Exactly. See, it's called madaming namatay sa maling akala. Yeah. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> there you go. See, that, that's why I like talking about you don't know what you don't know. And in my most recent column, I talked about wanting to help somebody in the new food uh, business because of pandemic. There's an opportunity. And so the best friend told this person, hey, you got to be careful about food safety, you know, uh, food handling. And the person said, why? Do you know how to cook? You don't know anything about cooking. You're just envious because I have a business. The point is that person who's doing the business did not know about food safety procedures, did not follow, and was doing delivery of food, but got 
in trouble because of you know what happens food poisoning because one thing simple i want people to understand hot should hot food should be delivered hot cold food should be delivered cold meaning if your salads arrive and they're warm do not accept them okay okay now why do a lot of people get food poisoning in parties because of spaghetti there's nothing wrong with spaghetti i'll tell you what's wrong it's tomatoes and dairy meaning the cream the cheese especially the white spaghettis the carbonaras anything with dairy anything with tomatoes will spoil faster if it's right. spaghetti yes remember especially in picnic diba you cook it yeah. at home then you put it in some form of container, Tupperware, then you put it in the car, then there's traffic, and then you bring it to the party and it takes forever till you eat it, you're dead. You are yeah. so dead. Okay? So you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> it should only be in room temperature for two hours. After that, it is not safe. How's that for an example of you don't know what you don't know? Mama. I mean, uh, it's not just knowing how to cook, but knowing how to uh, serve what you cook at the right time and the right place and the go. right temperature. Very well said, Rose. You have been able to define food handling. Yan ang food yeah. handling, right? Now, on another yeah. day, we can also talk about food safety, food handling, and sanitation. How many hands transferred? Even not the preparation, food preparation, still something else. But from the time it was packed into the Tupperware, then it was transferred to the serving bowl, then it was transferred. Uh, that's a bad idea, right? That's the food handling. Speaking of which, I keep telling my grandson, because he has this habit of putting things in his mouth, and I say, no, a lollipop, for instance. Uh, the wrapper, he would, he would put the the lollipop hold with the wrapper into his mouth. And I say, no, you don't know how many hands touch that from the factory to the wrapping, to the delivery, to the grocery, to me and to you. So how safe are they? That's the wrapper. He's still eating it with the wrapper. Yeah, he has this habit of uh, putting things in his mouth and I keep and I get angry all the time. Okay, here goes. That's another topic for another day. Getting angry doesn't get things done. That's another mm. topic for another day, right? It's mm. about motivating. But one of the things that I do, because I love storytelling with kids, I'm like, would you lick the bottom of your shoe? Let me ask you, Rose. Would you lick the bottom of your shoe? No. So -so? No. Okay, good. Because the bottom of your shoe is what? Why would you not lick it? Because it is... It's so dirty. You step on so many things. Very good. Now, that is the shoe that steps on the floor where the lollipop fell with its wrapper. So the moment, grandchild, that you put that with the, your, that lollipop with the wrapper in your mouth, you have technically licked the bottom or the sole of your shoes. Yes. Then you might as well lick the street and the floor. That is how I explain to children, and they're going, ooh, I'm like, good. Did you learn your lesson? Yes. How do you like that, Rose? Good. <laughs> <laughs> See? I will do it. Yeah, that's what I do. I, I help people with mindset management, young and old. See, it works for you and you're an adult um, by storytelling, right? Um, yes. It's a classic case of you don't know... Right? You don't know what you don't know. You tell the kid, you didn't know that you were licking the street. You didn't know that you were licking the floor. You didn't know that you were licking the bottom of how many shoes might have stepped on where that lollipop mm -hmm. fell. Good luck. <laughs> Never going to do it again. I promise you. Okay. Sounds good? Yeah. Very. Now, Interestingly, it's a lesson for you as well. How did you react to that as we're quickly wrapping up? Because today, that's our one main lesson. You don't know what you don't know. 
What's your one strong learning point and key takeaway from that, Rose? I find it amusing, but true. Well, that is why every time I help people with the learning session, I tell them, be entertained as you get informed with Miss V. I will entertain you. And the information I give you will remain because it's so funny and so true. Sounds good? Yes. Well, Very good. I'm glad that you liked it. So for your kid, for the adults, for the kids and adults out there, tips and techniques for this week here with Rose and Miss V. Three things, Rose, tell me if you like it. Number one, mm -hmm. know your do's. Take yes. the wrapper out before you put the lollipop in your mouth, kiddo. Number uh -oh. two, know your don'ts. Don't go around licking shoes, streets, and floors because that's what you're doing <laughs> when you eat your lollipop with the wrapper. Three, okay. don't think that you're an exception, that it's not going to make your tummy ache if you end up eating some germs. Very simple, know your do's, know your don'ts, and do not think that you're an exception to what could possibly happen if you keep eating the yuckies. So what can you say about Rose as to wrap, wrap this up? Very good tips and very practical. And I hope we were able to impart a good message to everyone. There you go. And that's our message for this year. We're keeping it short and sweet because remember, I did write about this some time ago, Rose. K-I-S-S, keep it short and simple. And we will discuss that on another week. But for today, just remember, Today's learning is you don't know what you don't know. And I hope that Rose and I were able to help you laugh and learn something new and useful in your life. So, Rose, any parting statement? Thank you so much and hope to see you soon. All right. Peeps out there, we're going to see you and hear you and hear from you in your comments. Thank you very much. Here on Tidbits with Rose and Miss V here on Candid Conversations on channel Show and Tell. I love you. Mabuhay!